Welcome friends, welcome back to the kitchen, welcome back to Sunday morning in the old cookbook show. We're going to come back to this cookbook. Um, I really like this cookbook, the Town Crier Recipe Book. 300 lucky, low-cost, prize-winning recipes, price 50 cents. Um, sent in by a viewer, thank you very much for sending us this book. Um, published 1938, so end of the Depression, just before World War II starts, um, and it is put together by the Town Crier Family Flour Company, or the Midland Flour Milling Company of Kansas City, Missouri. Um, they are recipes that are called from uh, recipe contests and then tested, 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 and put in this book. And so, um, an incredible book of recipes. The recipe we're gonna do today, let me find it here, is called Applesauce Cookies. Um, I like a really good cookie. I like applesauce, I like a spice cookie. Let's make applesauce cookies. So we're gonna start out by creaming the butter and I'll get the butter into the stand mixer. There we go. Get that on. Now, the recipe has later on two add-ins, uh, nuts and raisins. And the recipe specifically tells me to mix a little bit of the flour with the nuts and raisins. Um, I gotta tell you, I've tested this over and over and over and over and over again, and it's pretty much a waste of time. This does not affect whether the add-ins, the raisins, the nuts, whatever, sink to the bottom. That's total myth. Um, for some things though, uh, that are really sticky, like peel, like candied peel, it can keep those from clumping together by putting flour on them. They don't stick together, so they do get distributed more. But for the most part, flour, not flour, there's a whole lot of other things going on in a cake batter, specifically, um, that could cause the fruit to either fall or not fall to the bottom. Anyway, that's my little rant. That's still creaming together. So the butter's pretty soft. Let's get the sugar in there, and we'll cream together the sugar and the butter. And while that's creaming together, we'll deal with the dry ingredients. So I have the flour, baking soda, cinnamon, cloves, and some nutmeg. Now, um, a common comment I see in the, uh, in the comment section below the videos is someone will say, I really love that recipe, but you had me right up until you put cloves in, or cinnamon, or nutmeg, or whatever spice it is that we're putting into the cake, or the cookies, or whatever. You know you can leave it out, right? If you don't like cloves, don't put them in. Substitute something else. If you think the rest of the cookie seems like a really great idea and you'd love to have it, but you don't like one of the spicing ingredients, one of the flavoring ingredients, leave it out. It's really not that difficult. Don't overthink it. Exchange it for something that you do like. So we'll mix that together. Okay, so rereading the recipe, I realize I was supposed to put the soda in the applesauce. It'll be okay. It'll be okay. Um, soda's mixed in with the flour instead of the applesauce. It's gonna come to the same end. It's gonna be fine. So now I'm gonna put the applesauce into the stand mixer and we'll mix that together. You'll notice um, no egg in this, in this mixture, no vanilla in this mixture. Um, you know, admittedly, there is quite a bit of spice and nut and, and fruit, so it's not an inexpensive recipe for 1938. Anyway, where was I going with that? The applesauce is going to do some of what the egg would do. So just like every other cookie we've ever made, spoon in the flour, spoonful at a time, don't put it in too quickly. As one spoonful mixes in, add the next. Now the flour's all mixed in, in go the nuts and the raisins. And that's it. Okay, so we'll portion these out onto a baking tray. It's quite a loose, quite a loose dough. I don't know how much they will spread. The dough could probably use uh, 15 or 20 minutes in the fridge just to kind of stiffen it up a little bit before you bake it. 
And while this tray is in the oven, that's probably what I'm going to do. Last one. And into the oven. For, For about 20, 20 minutes, minutes at, at 350. 350. Hey friends, hey Glenn. Hey Jules. <clears throat> Applesauce cookies. Applesauce cookies, that sounds good. I mean, yeah. sorry, I was so, staring at watching what you were doing. I was wondering what, what, you know, you got some nice. What is that? Is that applesauce? Or caramelized applesauce. Oh, that'd be really good. Oh. I'm a little bit There's jealous a now. a little bit there on that I'll, one. I'll pick that one later okay. then. I'll look for one that has some. Wow, caramelized applesauce. It's giving me ideas. <laughs> That's what we need, right, Glenn, having more ideas? <laughs> so these are eggless. Okay. Um, the applesauce, I guess, takes that up and, and adds all the moisture to it. So, as you can see, I keep hovering, waiting for the clue that says it's okay for me to taste them. What's inside? Ooh. Mm. Nuts and spices and raisins and applesauce. It's not a crisp cookie. No, it's a soft spice cookie. It's a soft, soft spice cookie, yeah. It's nice, though. Mm -hmm. It's a nice, nice set of spices in there. And the applesauce keeps it nice and moist. Mm -hmm. More like little cakes than, than what in North America we would now call a cookie. Oh, those are really good. I like those. All right, glad improved. So, this is a really good cookie. Mm -hmm. Change out the spicing a little bit if you want to. Um, mm. make, it into, make it into something a little bit different. Mm -hmm. Thanks for stopping by. See you again soon.